So hello everyone. I am Efrat Lidor Nili, co-founder and co-CEO of Without, together with my partner Orly Novit Brick. And I will start by introducing a short movie about uh, weed resistance. We call this threat resistance, a monster that lies in wait in our fields, hiding itself within the weeds that grow among our crops. What's worse? These weeds pass on their herbicide resistance to future generations. Serious herbicide resistance in key weeds is spreading, with increasingly worrying consequences for us all. And since the number of effective herbicides is declining, farmers in particular will face significant financial losses, especially as no new mode of herbicidal action will be available anytime soon. The consequences are devastating. Okay, so this is what Bayer thinks about weed resistance and what are resistant weeds. Resistant weeds are weeds that no longer respond to standard chemical treatments. It's very much similar to antibiotic resistance and they've evolved as a result of the continuous use of herbicides. When weeds are uncontrolled, they cause significant damages that can reach even 40 billion US dollar annual global losses, even despite the extensive use of chemicals. And crop growers in the US, over 65% of them already have resistant weeds in their field. 23 out of the known 26 modes of action already have re reported resistance against. And this is where we come in at Without. We bring a totally new strategy into solving the weed resistance problem. And we are exploiting sterility techniques. Sterility techniques have been used since the 1940s in order to eradicate population of undesired insects by releasing into the air sterile males that fertilize females and lead to formation of aborted offsprings. And we are taking this concept from the insect control world into weed control. Our technology relies on the development of a unique proprietary weed pollen that has two different properties. The first property is that this pollen efficiently fertilizes the female weed oval. And the second one is that this fertilization event leads to formation of aborted seeds and by that blocks the generation of the next resistant weed. So how will this work? We are suggesting a novel step in current integrated weed management programs. As of now, escaper weeds that are left in the, in the field after chemical spraying are uh, propagating with one another, thus causing a population drift towards more and more resistant weeds next year. We will apply our unique, uh, uh, causing significant yield reductions, of course. We will apply our unique proprietary weed pollen on the escaper weeds and lead to formation of aborted seeds and by that significantly reduce the seed bank of next year and the number of weeds that will be in the field and significantly increase crop yield and productivity. Our first product is targeting Palmer amaranth, which is considered the most troublesome weed in the US. According to surveys that have been conducted in 2016 and 17, it's considered a real plague and it's bedeviling farmers like no other weed is done. Here we are presenting our breakthrough results with our technology. What you see on the left is the seed morphology. In the upper panel, you see regular seeds that were formed as a result of the use of regular pollen. In sharp contrast, when you look on the seeds in the lower panel, you see our uniquely treated seeds. These seeds were formed as a result of unique uh, pollen, and indeed, these seeds have a different morphology. Their average weight per seed is significantly reduced but the most important thing is that these seeds have completely lost their ability to germinate in sharp contrast to 72% in the control seeds. We've tested this technology in various settings, including competition trials. We've also achieved a proof of concept in an additional weed that is considered one of the most troublesome weed in the US. And we have a strong IP portfolio that we've established for this entire concept. When we look on the market, the market opportunity is huge because by 2020 it is estimated that already 125 million acres in the US alone will be infested by resistant palmer amaranth. And by reducing by 50% the amount of palmer amaranth in the field, 
you can, cost, uh, you can uh, increase the savings for the farmer by 70 US dollar up to 150 US dollar uh, in the, uh, all of the main crops. To sum up, I will mention a few advantages of our technology. We are presenting a new mode of action. It's green, non-toxic. Therefore, we anticipate a much faster and cheaper regulatory pass. It's cost effective. It's selective for the weed only. We are providing a long-term solution because we are blocking resistant weed spreading and it's going to be complementary to all the other methods. By blocking resistance, we will enable the other products to be in the market for more years. And to sum up, we are suggesting a platform technology that will be highly applicable to the most troublesome weeds worldwide. Thank you very much. A very innovative concept for weed control for Thank farmers. You. Have you already been thinking how you will deploy the product and offer it to the farmers? Will it be in conjunction with small molecules or how do you see it? So uh, at the moment we have a dry formulation uh, that is a, a prototype for the product and we think that this can be uh, uh, going towards, of course we need more research to uh, complete the formulation for the farmer, but this is something that uh, already we have at the end. The technology is working really nicely, and also uh, we have initial uh, formulations, uh, and of course we have an R&D plan to pursue all of this. <laughs>